Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this video I will be showing you how to move uh, your iTunes music uh, to Google Play. Uh, so if, say, you keep your music on iTunes, uh, but you have an Android phone, then you can put your music from iTunes on your Android. Or if you had an iPhone and now you have a Droid, um, then you can have your music stored in Google. Um, well, yeah, there's a handful of situations, or if you just want to be able to access your music from anywhere, then this is a solution. Uh, but it's most useful for uh, one of the first two that I have mentioned. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you'll want to go to uh, play.google.com. Uh, I think when you put that in, then it'll automatically add the slash store. Uh, and then we are going to click on the music tab. Uh, once you're there, click sign in. You can sign in whenever, but eventually you'll need to sign in at some point. So I'm going to sign in with my email. And come back to music. Then we'll click My Music. <coughs> then we'll need to click Listen Now. And then if you want to learn more about what Google Play is, you can. Uh, scroll down more on this page because uh, it lets you for free you can add up to store up to 50,000 uh, of your iTunes songs but very rarely are you ever gonna have more than 50,000 I don't know that's just me you might have more than that you can get recommendations and curated radio and all that of course if you pay for the service uh, or subscribe or whatever it is then you get a little bit more um, but I tend to just use the playlists that I upload on Google Play and that those won't have ads so you're good there yeah so if you want to learn more about what Google Play is or what all can do you can scroll down on this page uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click listen now and then you can come over to add music and once you click that, then it will ask you to uh, do the following. So you will you can upload music from iTunes and whatnot. So we're gonna hit next. And unfortunately, you'll have to uh, add a card. Um, of some kind, uh, just to verify where uh, you are from. So. I will go ahead and do that. Once you have added your card, you, you can hit next. And then you will need to add uh, the Google Play Music thing. And you'll click add. And then Google Chrome will begin downloading uh, the app. And you will need to make sure you are signed into Chrome. Then you can add music either from iTunes or from a specific folder. And then you'll, you will want to make sure that you select the little tick box right here that says keep Google Play up to date when I add new music to these folders. So click add my music. And once it will start doing that, uh, start adding music as you can see. So you can listen to music, a list of songs as soon as they're added. Uh, and if you have a large music collection, then it'll take a while. But for this example, uh, I've put in a short or playlist less than 100 songs so it's probably already in there um, so we're going to click listen now and we'll click my library so if you're having trouble like me uh, right now then you'll need to go keep clicking add music uh, hit next and You'll say add card even though you've already added a card. And, and then you'll click download music manager. 
and then download music manager and as you see it is currently downloading uh, the Google Play uh, music manager uh, and it will be ready to install shortly so we'll come over to our downloads and click the music manager dmg and we wait and you'll get a pop-up window that's it and we'll tell you to drag the music manager to your applications folder so let's go ahead and do that authenticate and it will prompt you to put in your username and password of your computer if you're on a Mac, I have no idea what will happen on Windows, but I'm sure it'll do the same thing. And then once the application is downloaded, you will need to go to your Applications folder and go find uh, Google Music or Music Manager and double-click it. All right, Music Manager. Uh, then you will need to uh, hit Continue. You'll need to log in with the Gmail you use to set up uh, your Google Play or Google Music account. And it will ask us to pick a location for uh, where we want to import our music, or imp to import our music from. So I'm going to import it from iTunes. You can choose like a music folder or a folder elsewhere on your computer. I'm going to import it from iTunes. There's 71 songs in one playlist. So I can choose to upload all the songs or I can select specific songs upload by playlist uh, and I can also include podcasts if I want but I don't have any podcasts in this playlist so that doesn't matter it's but so I'm just gonna upload absolutely everything hit continue do you want to automatically upload songs that you add to iTunes in the future absolutely yes and it's just telling you that once you follow further into instructions that a little icon will show up in your top window so it'll be up about right here uh, and that's where you can manage your music and make sure things are syncing and whatnot. And we're waiting for our long list of music to upload. If you have a shorter list of songs, then it won't take as long to upload. But if you obviously if you have a longer list, then it'll take a while. So you might won't just want to sit and listen to other music from iTunes or go make yourself some food and whatnot. Go get a cup of coffee and do what you gotta do to wait. Now that it is done, or at least working on it, we can hit go to music player. So you see, uh, we have our, now have our music manager icon above here. And this will tell us how many songs have been uploaded or are, are uploaded or are being uploaded. You can also pause when something is um, uploading have our preferences and whatnot. So right now it's currently working on uploading uh, our 71 songs. Otherwise we can just go to my library. And as you can see before it was uh, relatively empty and now we have uh, our music there and waiting for more music to be uploaded. So that is essentially how you use uh, how to import your iTunes music to Google Play. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. You can go hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and be notified whenever I upload new videos. And go hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel when I, whenever I upload interesting content there. Uh, and I will hopefully have some new videos there soon. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.